President of Azerbaijan Ilham Aliyev and his boss Mehriban Aliyeva, who arrived in Moscow for a working visit to attend the celebrations on the 17th anniversary of the victory over fascism, were welcomed by President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, at the Kremlin. The military parade started after the honorary guests arrived at the Red Square, where celebrations were taking place. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu and Commander-in-Chief of Land Forces of the Russian Federation, Alex Salikov, reviewed the parade. Congratulating departments of the ceremony, President of Russia Vladimir Putin said the merits of the former Soviet peoples as well as anti-Hitler coalition countries in the victory in the World War II would never be forgotten. Underlining that the Victory Day was the festivity of those peoples and nations, Vladimir Putin said that unforgettable date was an example for modern times. Then the servicemen started marching. Servicemen of the CIS and anti-Hitler coalition countries entered the square. Azerbaijan servicemen were going ahead. Azerbaijan officers and soldiers played a great and historic role in the victory over fascism. They demonstrated heroism in the heaviest battles. So, our country's merits in historic victory are undeniable. More than 700,000 Azerbaijan servicemen left for the front. More than 300,000 servicemen were killed in the battles. 123 servicemen were given the title of the Hero of the Soviet Union. 30 Glory Order, more than 170,000 Azovjan soldiers and officers, various orders and medals. Azovjan soldiers and officers fought in Brest, Moscow, Leningrad, Kiev, Stalingrad, Ukraine, Belarus, Baltic fronts. 416th, 402nd, 396th, 223rd and 77th divisions composed of Azovjanis took an active part in the struggle for freedom of Simferopol and Odessa. 77th Divisions for Freedom of Poland and Czechoslovakia, 223rd Divisions for Freedom of Yugoslavia. The military parade on the 17th anniversary of the victory over fascism continued with the demonstration of armored vehicle with T-34 tank ahead. Russian-made Armata armored vehicle, the first example of Yaros missile complexes, were also among the combat vehicles demonstrated in the parade. Not only our heroes, but also Azerbaijan oil played a great role in the victory. The view that Baku oil predetermined the fate of the Great Patriotic War was proved in the first days of the war. For five years, Baku oil supplied the front with a high quality fuel. 110 million tons of oil was produced during the war in the USSR. 75 million tons of this oil, 85-90% of the oil products sent to the front accounted for Azerbaijan. One in four tanks in the front was supplied with Azerbaijan oil. One more fact, five Soviet aircrafts took off on the day of the fall of Berlin, all of them supplied with Baku oil. Therefore, Baku is called the city, which predetermined the fate of the World War II. Therefore, Hitler, who knew very well that Baku oil was decisive for the war, ordered the first tank unit of Germany to occupy Baku on September 25th of 1942. When starting attack on the Caucasus, we must occupy Baku. If we do not seize Baku oil, we will lose the war, said Hitler. The enemy attempted to occupy Baku 71 times in 1942 and three times in 1943. Our pilots prevented those attacks and shut down 96 planes of the enemy. It should also be underlined that thanks to the efforts of scientists and engineers, all processing facilities of Baku were successfully producing kayaktane gasoline for the front. The first group of hydrogen connections was prepared in Baku in summer of 1941. Within 28 days, a group of scientists under the supervision of academician Yusuf Mohamed Aliyev obtained high-octane aviation gasoline, which is considered the highest achievements in the petrochemical science. This made a serious turning point in the war. Military air forces also took part in the parade. Two 160 strategic bombers and 124 
Ruslan aircrafts, Su-24, Su-34 and MiG-29 fighter jets were demonstrated during the parade. The participants took interest in the successful mid-air refueling task and maneuvers of military helicopters. Fifteen aircrafts depicted seventy in the air as a symbol of the anniversary of the victory. After the military parade, the heads of state and government laid a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier.